This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, a very warm welcome to this System Center Configuration Manager online training session. So, uh, the duration of this training is going to be 35 hours. Okay, um, in total daily we will do one hour or one and a half hour session starting from 11 30 a.m ist okay and you also joined and uh, it's a 90 minute session right monday to friday hi andrew hi morning Kishi. are you joined yeah yeah can you hear me uh, yeah I thought you are not going to join today. You yeah, will join that's tomorrow right. because I said, yeah, there's something that I was going to take care of. Something came up to take care of, so I would have been away. But unfortunately, I managed to uh, arrange uh, something else around it, so it's okay. I would have had to go away to, to just yeah, take someone somewhere. Okay. So I was actually, uh, I thought I can cover up the, the missed session for rishi uh you know the first that's session fine. he missed that is, yeah that is fine i'll continue with that don't worry okay fine so the historical details uh, we'll discuss about the history of sccm so sccm started as a sms uh, system management server in the year 1994 1.0 right. then 2.0 then 2003 then in the year 2007 they released sccm so previous old name was SMS. Then they changed the name to SCCM, System Center Configuration Manager. So 2007, 2012, 2015, these are three versions released in the year 2016. These three versions in the year 2017. These three versions in the year 2018. And these three versions in the year 2019. From 1910, October, they changed it change the version name uh, i mean the name of this uh, product previously it was sccm now it is called mecm hmm. microsoft endpoint configuration manager last year they released 2002 2006 and the latest and greatest version of sccm is 2010 okay yeah rohit is it clear ah, yes, sir. so this is the 2020 October they released MECM last year 2010 so it started from 1994 so more than 25 years this product is there in the market okay yeah we used so to have uh, certification hmm. I said this uh, 2021 in the month of February they are not released yeah? 2002 they will release 2102 Okay, uh, that, that is already yeah, that is already released, but not in the production environment. Okay. okay, okay. Now the we used to have exam uh, seventy hyphen two forty three that is expired. Then we had seventy hyphen seven zero three that is expired too. Okay. Understood. So we don't have any specific certification exam for SCCM. Now, in terms of opportunities, you have good opportunities all over the globe. Since you are coming from uh, the southern part of India, I think you're from Bangalore, right? So in Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, you have n number of opportunities for SCCM administrators. People are earning somewhere around 45, uh, I mean, 43% 40, of market share for SCCM. So almost all big size and medium size companies have SCCM. And you can expect a salary of 800,000 Indian rupees, okay, per year. Average salary, okay. Rohit, that will be the average salary, 800,000 Indian rupees. You have to apply for uh, SCCM related opportunities in uh, Nokri, then Monster, right, LinkedIn so that you get visible and you get calls for SSCM administration job, okay? Now there are three sites in SSCM. 
central administration side primary side and secondary side okay these are three different servers like this we will have to have it on separate server it cannot be on the same server so cas primary and secondary they will be on windows server 2012 or greater understood uh -huh. central administration site has database primary also has database right and secondary also has database clear rohit and uh, yes. rishi yep now what is central administration site you guys can start making note of it central administration site is an optional site it is not mandatory second point is central administration site will uh, will be installed only when you have more than one primary site so it is needed when you have more than one primary site yeah if you don't have more than one primary site you don't need central administration site so central will be sitting on the top like this and then you will have child primary site lights primary one and primary two minimum one primary more than one primary site has to be there minimum two primary site then only central is needed otherwise it's not needed okay yeah so central will be sitting on the top of the hierarchy as and when you have central central administration site has database so it needs sql server database okay so central will have database like this and it will collect data from where it will collect data from primary site database so primary will also have database let's say there are two primary sites primary one and primary two both will have database so whatever the data primary site one collects it will pass on to central database whatever the data it collects it will pass on to so it collects collects data from where primary site primary site database okay understood yeah it's like database uh, should be oracle is it okay oracle also no 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 microsoft sql server it cannot be oracle okay okay it <clears throat> manages primary site so it, basically it's the manager of primary site like a parent primary site is child and cas is parent okay point yeah. number six it supports up to how much 800 82500 yes client computers give me one minute Okay, so 875,000 client computers it supports. Uh, it can have maximum how many primary site? 25. It supports up to no, 25. 
10 or 20 25 yeah. primary site correct no uh, uh, rohit two is like a minimum requirement minimum. when you have minimum two primary site then only it is needed central okay. administration site and maximum number of primary site one central administration site can support is 25 okay okay now point number eight now you have client computers right client computers you have you will have thousands and thousands of computers client computers and secondary site okay will not interact with cas so secondary site and client computers they do not interact with central administration side so central basically talks to which one primary side. yes understood so you could say it literally manages the primary sites right and obviously it is the, the primary manager sites, yeah right. then uh, communicate with the secondary sites right so secondary will not talk to cas that's not possible mm -hmm. secondary will not talk to cas plus the client computers, whatever the client company, you have thousands and thousands of computers. It will also not communicate with CAS. Okay. Mm -hmm. Understood. So that is CAS, guys. Let me take you to the next slide. That is primary site. Primary site is the main mandatory site. Make a note of it. Okay. This is mandatory site. Okay. Without this, you cannot have. Uh, you cannot do anything uh, related to SACM. All the policies are everything created in primary site, and then it will be traveled to the uh, down downward uh, to the client computers. It's a mandatory site. It basically we install it in headquarter, okay? Primary site, but it is not mandatory. But generally, what we do, we put it in headquarter wherein uh, you have more number of devices. So let's say this is New York, okay, and you have 20,000 client computers, okay, and this is headquarter. So what you do, you install one primary site, and that primary site will manage all these 20,000 devices, okay? Mm -hmm. It will have complete control on these 20,000 devices. Primary site can restart all these machines, can send policies, can send applications, can send updates, can send operating system, can find out how many computers are compliant, non-compliant, because they are on the same LAN network, okay? These 20,000 computers are on the same network, okay? So they have good connectivity. So it is basically, it is, um, it manages client computers in well-connected network. It manages client computers in well-connected network. Well-connected means LAN network. Understood? Yeah. Point number three, it needs SQL Server database. Just like Central, it also needs SQL Server database. So Primary will have a database. It is going to store everything in here. Okay? Understood? Yeah. Yeah, one question I'd like to ask, just to clarify. Uh -huh. On the primary site, what's the maximum this can manage? Maximum number of clients. Yeah, clients, yeah. 175,000. One primary ah. site can have maximum. Oh, sorry. So that means that, <clears throat> sorry. So 175,000. Right. Okay. Okay. One so. primary site can support. Suppose HCL, HCL has got 300,000 devices all over the globe. So one primary site is not sufficient for HCL. Mm. You will have two, minimum two primary site or three primary site. Okay, so it needs SQL Server database to store the data and it collects data from where? It collects data from client computers. and secondary site database. Understood? Mm -hmm. So 
all the client machines let's say you have 20000 client machines how much 20000 client machine those machines will send a information here okay plus the secondary side will be there in the branch offices secondary side will also have a database and primary will also have a database so the data it is gonna store here whatever the data it collects plus it will replicate the data secondary will replicate the data to primary database got it okay yeah <clears throat> we will do practically all these things um, guys so you will get more uh, understanding so it collects data from client computers and secondary side database uh, point number five is uh, um, it manages it manages secondary sites okay so secondary sites is being managed by primary site it's like secondary site is like child site and primary site is the parent okay point number six is uh, it supports how much devices up to secondary no we are talking about primary 175 client computers client Sorry, yeah, clients computers okay understood yeah okay, so if you're including uh, uh, 175,000 client computer means it will include a mobile device also everything yeah it will include mobile devices servers laptops desktop plus uh, mac computers as well okay Previously, we used to manage Linux boxes as well, Linux computers, but now it is decommissioned. Okay, we cannot manage Linux computer from SACM. Only Windows side. Hmm? Only Windows. Secondary side support. support. How much? Secondary side supports 15,000. Yes, uh, what is the question, Rohit? No, only Windows machine, it will support SCCM, no Linux. No, no Linux. Windows and Mac computers. Windows is like you can do more and more thing in Windows, but Mac is limited. Only a couple of things you can do in, in Mac computers. No, previous yeah. version and all, it is supported, huh? Linux. Linux, yes, previous version, we used to uh, install SCCM client on Linux boxes as well but now it is decommissioned we have something else from microsoft i don't remember the name of the tool uh, so all the linux boxes are being managed by that particular thing understood okay so it basically it is the main site in sccm okay uh, and without this you cannot um, do anything like you cannot deploy policy you cannot uh, collect inventory okay nothing will happen so it supports up to 175000 client computers okay um, it replicates data are you talking about parallels there is a tool parallels yes no no that is another thing that's a third party it replicates data uh, to send cache database so whatever the data it collects the primary site will collect data in the database and then it will pass on to cache if any suppose if cache is there then only it will replicate the data to cache database otherwise if cache is not there it won't do uh, the replication okay clear so that's the primary side guys so <clears throat> one primary side can have how many it supports up to 250 secondary side mm -hmm. okay 250 secondary side so secondary basically we put it in branch offices okay now secondary side 
secondary site is what it is an optional site it is an optional site why number two it is needed it is needed to uh, manage devices in remote location remote location branch offices okay yeah so uh, like this uh, rohit and rishi suppose you have primary site in headquarter in new york uh, yeah. and then you have some uh, branch locations okay All right let's say you have uh, uh, mumbai then uh, you have uh, bangalore then chin uh, hyderabad right and chennai and you have like 2000 devices 3000 4000 and 5000 devices in these branch offices and primary site uh, you have like in new york here in new york you have 20000 devices so primary site is going to manage all these 20000 devices but what about the computers which are outside okay so which are on the van network wide area network so we will install secondary site on each location because of the network connectivity okay we have low network bandwidth and van network mm -hmm. so that's the reason we will install secondary site so all these secondary will report to primary yeah and these secondary will help to these computers like collecting inventory it will have contents it will you know basically it will manage these devices in these locations understood yep no, basically, in a branch office only, this uh, secondary site will be implemented. Yes. No, suppose if van network is uh, like uh, it good. is having high bandwidth. Uh, if van network then, is good, like one GBPS or something, you don't need secondary site. Okay, then there in branch office also we can go for primary only. No, 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 no. Uh, from prime from New York, you can manage devices. So, suppose you have primary in New York and okay. you have mumbai and mumbai has like uh, 5000 computers and mumbai okay. has good connectivity it is van network but it is like 1 gbps line okay. okay so you don't need secondary side because secondary basically is needed only to only to control the network bandwidth but if you have good network connectivity then we don't need secondary side we can utilize the same uh, network uh, same in uh, headquarters whatever primary is there same thing yeah so if these 5000 computers will be talking to primary site okay okay directly. if it is good the bandwidth yeah if the bandwidth is good then we don't need a secondary site okay 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 on the secondary site circus so chief mm. um how many devices they put again each 15000 oh. okay so there's 15000 so okay. it needs uh, it needs to store data in uh, either uh, sql express mm -hmm. or sql server database okay so secondary side will also have a database okay secondary side is going to store the data either in sql express or sql server database so it can store the data either one of them sql express is basically free so mostly we use this one sql express the so secondary side is going to store the data here and finally once it's like temporary storage and then the permanent storage will be on primary side it is replic going to replicate the data to primary side database mm -hmm. understood yeah but uh or if this in primary site and this cache will not support this sql express no primary and cache will not support sql express because sql express is very limited database and it okay. is um, it uh, it cannot process the data as uh, good as a sql server database okay so it's like a temporary database Okay, we required SQL Server database for PS and uh, CAS. Right, and here you can take any one of them. 
Okay, Express or SQL? Yeah, mostly we go with Express. Okay. So it needs to store data in this thing point number four it uh, replicates okay it uh, basically collects data from somewhere right it collects data from uh, remote location computers remote location yeah. client computers why I say client computers, but not computers? There is a difference between just computer and client computer. So if if you have a computer, right, and the client is not installed, we need to install client like a small software, and that will be a CCM client, a small agent. Okay. Agent. So then, yes, a small agent we have to install like a CCM client. Understood. Then we call it as client computer. Communicate to primary and site. Right, right. If the agent is not there, then computer is not a managed computer. It is an unmanaged computer. If the client is installed, then it becomes managed computer. Understood? Okay. So there is a difference between computer and client computer. So this is client computer. But if you remove SCCM agent, then this is just a plain unmanaged computer. It will not talk to SCCM. So the moment you install SCCM client, then only it will start communicating with SCCM. All right. So uh, it collects data from where? From? Um, remote location client computers and then it will whatever the data it collects it replicates to where it replicates data to primary side database so secondary side whatever the data it secondary side collects let's say it has collected few data here it is going to pass on the data to primary side database like this got it So this will get automatically configured or we have to do that Automatic. while configuring. Automatically every five minutes the data is replicating. You can okay. configure the time if you want five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes you can do that. But generally five minutes is the default time. Okay, so during the installation only it will ask for the yes. database no, to by default, by default it will uh, during installation it will have option um, you know uh, to choose either SQL Express or SQL Server database, and then everything will be configured in the backend. Okay. Question. Mm. So, Kashif, um, <clears throat> when this is installed, it can be you said either SQL Express or SQL Server. Now, can it be either one, or does it have to be one or the other? In other words, are those languages compatible together? you have to be either sql express or sql server database okay you can't choose both of them at the same time right so either as is secondary site either it will store the data here mm -hmm. or it is going to store the data here okay okay now it supports up to 15,000 client computers. So suppose Chennai is head uh, branch office. Okay, so 15,000 computers are there. So you need up to 15,000 it can support. If you have 16,000 you, you, uh, or 20,000 then you need two secondary sites there. Understood? Yeah. One secondary site can support up to 15,000 client computers. Any question? so far no so most of the mid-sized companies i believe they don't have yes. more than twenty-five thousand because mid-size i mean twenty-five thousand right. is also too much so that right. means it is recommended to have one primary one database uh, server reporting services on it and we are good to go to manage them initially and yeah, if we are connected on a proper van yeah if we are connected on a proper van with good bandwidth right so we then don't have one to primary. so much of sites right. and all that right so we don't have to install a secondary site 
we can install a distribution point on multiple Correct. locations but Correct. secondary site is not needed at all okay Correct. so distri distribution point is a role it's not a it's site a role. no it's a role but, but a role sits on a site only so anyways we need to no, have a site no, build. no 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 Okay. roles can be role can sit on site server or site system site server or three site server site mm -hmm. server you understand the difference between site server and site systems so site server okay three site server cas right primary and, and secondary. secondary these are site servers so you right. can have one or more than one roles on these servers right, right. now you have site system site system is another thing site system will have not primary not secondary not central they will not be the servers they will uh, be a plain either server or uh, yeah they will be a plain server and on that server we can host a couple of roles either one or more than one roles let's say we can host mp and dp on a separate box but these okay. boxes these this box is not primary not secondary not central so it is it will be called as site system okay so but it will be having the database sql express or not no 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 why okay database okay. will be there only for site servers not for site okay. system site systems okay okay it will connect to the site server database in the back end right so and site system does it require mandatory to have a server on it or we can have the client like windows 10 machine only only dp can be installed on client machine dp okay. distribution point but other roles all other roles you okay. have to have a server for that server okay yeah got it yes rohit uh Karshik, in uh, branch office if we are having 25000 client computer mm. Then we need to install two secondary. Two second. no? Yes. So if branch office has, let's say there are two buildings, for example. So one building has 10,000 devices. Another building has 15,000 devices. So we will have two secondary site, one for this one, one for this one. Because one secondary site can support up to 15,000 15, client computers. Hmm. Or no, you can distribute. In, uh, to 12,500 or 12,500, yes. Now, suppose in one building only, if we are having 25,000 clients. Yeah, so you can, in one building, you can have two, two secondary site. So oh. let's say in one building, you have like 25,000 client computers, right? So you can oh. manage, so one will manage 12,500 computers, right? Another will manage 12,500 computers. Something like that, you can distribute the load. Yeah. Okay. So that you can define in the boundary. Okay, so which computer should point to which site server? Okay, so I it supports up to 15,000 client computers and it cannot exist without primary site can a primary site exist without a central is it yes. possible yes yes so if you don't have cas for example you don't have cas primary can exist but if you don't have primary, primary. can a secondary exist that no. is not possible without primary <clears throat> secondary cannot exist okay all right Secondary Sir. can also not be secondary can also not transfer to another primary. For example, you have two primary primary one and primary two. So you installed this secondary site for this one. And this is right. talking to primary site one. Now tomorrow, now you think that now instead of this secondary site is not needed here, let's move this secondary site to here. That is not possible. Okay. Because okay. it's the it's the uh, it's like child of this one parent cannot be changed right understood okay <clears throat> 
so architecture uh, rohit uh, there are three kind of architectures in ssm so one for a small size companies you just need one single primary site then you have medium size company you will have primary plus secondary right primary plus secondary so primary will be the master and secondary will be connect uh, managing i mean the reporting to primary this yeah. is like almost wherever you go you will find this kind of architecture 99% of time you will get this kind of architecture in companies one primary and multiple secondary okay yeah you will have this kind of architecture as well for big size companies when you have more than one primary so you can have one prime uh, two primary or more than two so primary two and primary three in this architecture we have three primary site and they will report to central like this yeah understood yep another example cas sits on the top then we have primary right and then we have secondary these secondary will report to this one and these secondary will report to this one correct so during data. secondary side we have to define it very clear like which primary side it, it is going to talk with no 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 secondary side installation you don't have a standalone installation for secondary side you start the installation from primary itself so by default got it that. knows okay. okay got it now all site has database as i mentioned secondary has a database it collects inventory from the client computers primary has a database it collects inventory from client computers from and from secondary side database and then it will pass on to central database like this yeah okay clear rohit okay <clears throat> then we have site roles which we will discuss uh, later on um Now these are the roles and features um, of uh, SCM. You can have uh, these features and functionalities of SCM like hardware inventory. You can get from SCM asset and compliance, asset intelligence. We will do all these practically. Software metering, application deployment. You can do. You can do updates deployment. You can do operating yeah. system deployment. You can find out. You can do uh, content management. You can check the compliance uh, of the computers. you can deploy power policy uh, to the client computers uh, client health endpoint protection mobile device management role based remote reporting monitor all these things we will do practically okay then we will do lab setup okay so how you guys are going to do the lab setup andrew and uh, uh, rishi give me one minute okay yeah andrew and rishi how will you do lab setup uh I, i would prefer to go on azure like uh, i can take okay andrew i think you sent me one email right uh are you there andrew yeah sorry i don't mind come mic off yeah so i did send no. you an email or message was it with regards to the to the spec of my machine so i'm not too sure because for me to get it on the machine I need to download I yeah. uh, to build server um windows okay. server first and then So you up. have old h you said uh, below the spec of old hp yeah. hp pro lient micro server gen 7 specs processor dual core processor oh yeah. okay amd uh, that is low actually the processor and uh, you have 16 gigabyte of ram and it is sata hard disk okay what i would suggest andrew you go on azure and side by side you you build on this thing as well uh local this one okay. because i think the processor is not that good enough if it was uh, uh, octa core or quad core then uh, that would be a different case mm. understood yeah 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 uh, 
16 gigabyte is fine you have ssd hard disk that's right yeah hmm? yes yes ssd hard disk SSD is there hard, or is, yeah. is this it's the sata uh, sata hard disk is the old one the spinning one oh no 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 it, the ssd right. ssd are you sure it is ssd yeah 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 the ssd not the spinning one the old one no 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 so, no no no, so definitely. we can for SSD, so, so yeah so do one thing you can try on this one then ssd if you have ssd then it will be faster so what you do you down i will send you the links to download you need to download vmware workstation on that machine okay and, and install that okay have you used vmware before uh, no i haven't okay so vmware will help you to have more than uh, i mean uh, create virtual machines on your uh, server so vmware okay. you install and then after you install vmware you need to build a couple of virtual servers on your physical server you can have multiple virtual servers so mm -hmm. or you can do hyper v hyper v will be there by default you have used hyper v Hmm? Yeah, Hyper V I've used. I prefer to okay. well, I prefer to okay. use VMware, of course, because I, yeah, that's the direction. You prefer to use VMware or Hyper V? Yeah. Which one? VMware. VMware. So you download VMware and then you build three servers: domain server, just a plain server, 2000 server 2019, okay. Windows server. Uh, you have to build three servers domain server database server and sccm ps server just give them name and later on i will guide you step by step how to make that server as a domain controller how to make that server as a sql server database and how to make that server as a um, sccm primary site server okay understood you know how the how you will do hmm? Um, I should, I can download it. this from from Microsoft. Actually, if you send me send me the instructions on this, and I'll go through it. Um, uh, lab setup, lab, uh, lab, lab, lab. Um, local lab. Yes. Now what you have to do andrew i am gonna send this these links to you okay uh, thank um, you. no worries so hmm. now i don't know about rohit how you are going to set up your lab rohit either on please, azure or local local what is the requirement for you? local you have to have minimum 12 gigabyte of ram see here quad core processor okay. and 300 gb of free uh, free ssd hard disk if you have ssd then it is good enough but if you you can also do it on a spinning disk okay, okay. that is for local if you don't have local configuration then you can go on cloud this one azure cloud data center okay okay hmm? No, I will go for this Azure, Azure Cloud. Azure. So I'll send you the Azure uh, instruction. So Andrew, you download VMware first. Okay. okay. You download this uh, uh, Windows Server 2019 ISO, mm -hmm. and then build three server. Okay. Okay. Install VMware on your server, and then uh, build three servers uh, uh, three virtual servers right virtual servers on vm where workstation and name them as domain uh, database and ccmps okay the okay. configuration for domain you should give 2 gb 2 GB RAM, okay. 2 GB RAM, and uh, 50 GB. No, not 50. You can give. You you have good amount of hard disk, right? Mm -hmm. So 2 GB RAM, one processor, 
and uh, 60 GB hard disk. Okay. 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 Database, you give um, one processor and it can be 4 GB RAM. Okay. Okay. And <clears throat> give 80 gigabyte. And SCCM. Okay. Yeah. So you need to follow the, uh, you download all these things first and then install VMware on your physical server. Okay. And then build three virtual servers on VM. So wherever you, you stuck, you let me know. You message me, okay. I'll guide you. I'll guide you. Uh, you send me a, a screenshot or something if you are facing some challenges and then I'll give you direction how to go about it. So, okay, thanks. Right now, there's server. nothing on the server. It's just bare metal anyway. Okay. The download, you have internet connection on the server? Uh, not well yeah i can do i can put the cable in okay. yeah i can yeah, internet, yeah. Put the cable download all the things which i sent or mm -hmm. you can download on you but you you will need internet connection later on so better to give yeah. internet connection to your server once i've got operating system on there then i can give internet okay. connection because right now right. yes yeah, nothing on there at all okay so sorry the domain, <laughs> database, and SCCM, and client one, you can also download Windows 10. So Windows 10, you go to this one, Windows Server, I mean, uh, Microsoft Windows 10 evaluation download, okay? Okay. I'll send you the link on WhatsApp, I think. Thank you. Okay, this is the link. So all the links I have given, um, Uh, create one Windows 10 virtual machine. Okay. So I gave you the link for virtual machine as well. I okay. mean Windows 10. So you complete these these things today. Uh, yeah. Okay. At least the server. Windows okay. 10 is fine. You can do it later. At least download and keep it ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, try building the server it won't take much time i think we, within one hour you will be able to complete all these things okay. or half an hour you just start to spin the build process and leave it as it is it will complete it on its own now for uh, these people um azure azure we send this message so Rohit, I need your email address and uh, Rishi, send me on chat window here. Yep. Can you, uh, on the chat one, please. Send your email address here. Okay, I received from Rishi and uh, I got it from Rohit as well. So uh, you guys need to perform these steps. Mm -hmm. okay, Andrew, do you also need this in case? Yes, please. Can... Yeah, in case this one fails, I can do uh, What is the email address, Andrew? So A R A. Mm -hmm. Then okay, that's I it. got it. At, at, uh, Rattery, Andrew Rattery, okay. Um, so you need to create your Outlook account, a new fresh Outlook account. Okay. Or you can utilize your existing account if you have not created Azure account before. If you have already created Azure account, don't use that account. Okay. 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 So create. you have to create your Outlook account first, then create a new, uh, create new account, then go to this website, to create your uh, free subscription azure free subscription click on uh, this is microsoft website guys start free then log in with the account which you created and put all the details phone number and everything it will also ask for credit card okay. credit card for verification it won't charge 
upfront nothing will be charged for the 30 days after 30 days your account you need to upgrade your account from free trial to pay as you go then only it will start charging so after 30 days you can disable and you won't be charged anything it will be free of cost for the 30 days guys you will get somewhere around 14000 indian rupees uh, rishi and rohit uh, which is equivalent to 200 us dollar uh, andrew for mm -hmm. you equivalent okay. to 200 dollar i don't know you can calculate in your local currency in in the azure wallet okay nothing will be charged from your credit card okay, okay. make sure okay so 30 days free trial in 30 days we will complete our training session we will do all our practical session understood okay after 30 days if you would like to continue you can start paying to microsoft or you can create another account with a new mm -hmm. credit card okay so i'm sending this one to you guys so okay. you complete you get this done uh, Rohit oh, so Kishif, so if you create a new account, hmm. so you close one account. If you create another account after thirty days, you can't use the same card. You need to use a different card. Is that right? Right. You can't no. use the same credit card. Yeah, because it's stored. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or okay. you can also you can also use your same credit card. You will have to. Mm, uh, you will have to contact Microsoft Support Center. Ask them to. Uh, delete your uh, card details from their uh, database. Mm -hmm. So yeah. once it is done, then you can use the same credit card. Okay. But they won't charge anything. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Until and unless you convert your account from pay uh, from free to pay as you go. Okay. Okay. So Rohit and Rishi, you guys okay. will be able to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So get this done by today and tomorrow onwards we will start doing the uh, practicals. So we will start building our servers and everything, domain controller, mm -hmm. database. But you, we will do the installation part. We will do, you know, quickly uh, because these things are generally, um, you know, uh, done by the contractors, right, or the consultants. Even though I will be explaining those things, but we won't take much time to complete all those things. So our server will be ready within a couple of days, and then we okay. can start all our all our uh, administration task. Okay. And in worst case scenario, one question. Let's say I run into problems doing it on the the server, my old server. Mm. Is it possible I can st set this up on the um, Apple Mac as well? Again, the the constraint is this one. You it's have to have good, cloud, good configuration. Yeah. Huh? The, oh yeah. So you have to have good configuration. Apple, Apple, check the configuration, the processor and RAM, and the hard disk. Okay. 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 You can do it if it is good configuration laptop. Mm -hmm. Then do, you can do it on Apple as well. It's not a problem. Okay. Okay. We see. Okay, but the good. server what you have, uh, Andrew, mm -hmm. I think that is supported because you said you have SSD. Yeah, that's right. There's solid state. Yeah. Yeah. If you have solid state, I think that is supported. You can, uh, you can build all your uh, SCCM lab on there. Okay. 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 Brilliant. Yes. What is the question? Perfect. If it is, if I am setting in local, i3 processor is it okay? i3 third generation. Third generation. i3. Yes. i3 third generation. Uh, yes, I think that is quad core already. Yes, that is supported. What is the mm -hmm. RAM configuration you have? RAM 16 GB should be there, huh? minimum. Yes. Yes. Minimum 12 gigabyte. Okay, 16 is GB. good enough. Yeah. Huh? 12 GB should be there, minimum. Minimum. And hard okay. disk, if you have SSD, then it is well and good. Okay. That means then my Mac would be okay because the Mac is i7. Okay, then you yeah. can you can use if Mac computer. The worst case, if it's so, the worst case, I then I fall back to that. But I will do the Windows 
अच्छा तो सर आपका इस रिकॉर्ड या for mac you will have to download the vmware workstation for mac operating system right. and i don't have yeah. and i don't have uh, that link so you will have to google it out but no uh, the one the link which i sent that is a f- a full version with the uh, with the license key as well okay okay and for mac i think you will get it but free uh, no trial one like 30 days or something so you check you let me know okay okay sure then okay guys so i i think i have created one uh, google drive uh, did i give you the permission guys no no april okay no i i need to create one google drive and you send me your gmail account guys on whatsapp okay i got yeah i think i have it for this thing rishi and uh, andrew yep i have already shared to him okay i need gmail account from rohit as well okay okay then only i can give you so all videos i will upload videos like this this is from different batch 630 batch a morning batch so all videos will be uploaded like this and you can download from there and access from there right. every session video okay <clears throat> so in azure when we create the account and create uh, the subscription uh, mm. going forward we have to create the like we have to take the instances or what not instance you just create subscription 30 days free trial that's it and then i'll right. guide you step by step how to create your virtual machine their virtual okay. server and all okay got it got it so get it get it done by today or by tomorrow morning before the session yep okay okay not right. for you andrew because i think that will be but you start doing today uh, andrew mm. building mm. the servers one okay. by one okay Okay guys I'll upload the video and share the link with you guys thank you everyone bye thank you too thanks kashif thanks to everyone have a nice day okay thank you